What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Deontay Wilder has dropped a huge bombshell on the idea of fighting Andy Ruiz before Tyson Fury. This is what he had to, to say. Wilder was asked about if he would be willing to battle Ruiz immediately and then face Fury after for all the gold, if successful. He says anything is possible in boxing. We'll see what happens with the rematches. Wilder exclusively told World Boxing News. I'll leave the link in the description. He says, I love to unify all the belts. It's coming down to it. It's getting closer and closer to a unification with Ruiz. I think that's what the heavyweight division is missing. We need one champion, one face, one name. It's Deontay Wilder. I can't wait for that to happen. And I'm the right guy for the job. Wilder admits the time is running out on his career at age 33. The bronze bomber wants to claim all the titles. He's well aware that the Ruiz fight would be easy to make due to both being signed with Al Heyman. <clears throat> Wilder made it clear that it's going to, he's, he's not going to be hanging around until his 40s. As a rival, Fury recently stated, he says, I'm not going to be in the game long. I want to unify the division and defend my titles a few times. But I don't know how many times in that field it would be, but it's not going to be real long run for me. I just don't think so. I'm going to retire right. I came into the game right. I'm going to I'm going in the right position right now and I'm going to retire right. He says I want people to appreciate me now while I'm still in the sport because I know they are going to when I leave. I just want you all to do it because I'm not here for long. Ooh. Okay. First of all, what can we extract and counterpunch from that? First of all, he is willing, because he said anything is possible, he's willing to fight Ruiz before Tyson Fury. And because they are with both Al Heyman, the fight would be easier to make if Ruiz gets past Joshua and he gets past his next opponent. That fight should happen. Like I told you guys, that fight should have happened anyway right um that would be the that that would be the right formation and it seems to me like the handlers of wilder are actually now telling him to do the right thing you see what i'm saying like before if you go back and he had that fight with tyson fury that was a voluntary okay voluntaries to me are a waste of time. They really are. And that was the most surprising voluntary that he's ever had in his career because he hasn't done many mandatories. He's only fought two mandatories in a four year reign. So we all know that's something really wrong with that shit, right? Because you have a voluntary, mandatory, voluntary, and then mandatory. Then you have another voluntary, then mandatory. But for some strange odd reason, He's only defended it twice. So after he got out of his voluntary with Tyson Fury, he could have easily fought for undisputed with Anthony Joshua. But that wasn't the route that they were trying to go. He was so hell bent on fighting Fury again. And really, his desire and eagerness to fight Fury only confirmed his disbelief or uncomfort or unease with not really winning that fight because Tyson Fury got off the canvas that made him an automatic loser. They gave him a gift draw simply because he was the champ. You know what I mean? We're not going to, we're not going to rob Fury, but we're sure not going to give him the belt either. So we're going to label this shit's a draw. That's a done deal. Deontay Wilder still wanted to run it back for some strange reason. And by doing so, he missed a lot of fucking money doing that. And they don't want that to happen again, 
Okay, they don't want to repeat the same mistakes. But if you notice, it's like, well, why didn't you want to fight when Anthony Joshua had those belts? Now, all of a sudden, you want to fight. Like, I told you guys, this has been documented, I promise you. If Ruiz wins that title, there will be a unification. And that's exactly what happened. That's what's happening right now. That's why he's saying, well, anything's possible. We just have to see. This is boxing, right? So now we're talking about unification. It's getting closer and closer. You know, his handlers are now steering him. No, you got to go for these belts to make your name more credible because you're not going to do it by just what you've done in the sport alone. He hasn't done enough. He needs those belts for marketability, okay? So they can either get Fury out or, and he's trying to replace, because you, you, you hear what he's saying? Look at the key words. I want you guys to rep- appreciate me while I'm still here, not when I'm gone. See, that type of shit, that's his way of saying, hey, I want the fame that I've seen other fighters have. And I still haven't had it, even though the top guy in the heavyweight division has fallen, right? Anthony Joshua took an L. So he was thinking, okay, well, it's all about me now, but all people are doing is talking about Anthony Joshua. The only time he really gets buzzed is when he talks about Anthony Joshua, just like he always has. His name is mentioned because Anthony Joshua was the man. If Anthony Joshua didn't beat Klitschko, Think about that. Nobody would have gave a fuck about Deontay Wilder. He wouldn't have been as big. He he would have never been offered the amount of money that he had. And guess what? What did he have before Joshua's negotiations? 2.5, 1.4, right? Those are the, those are, that was the money they was making. And where I'm going with this is, guys, that if there was no Joshua, there wouldn't be no money in the heavyweight division, period. So he knows And his handlers know that, hey, you have to get these belts so you'll have all the belts. So then we can sell you just like Joshua sold himself, just minus the endorsements and all the other shit, right? So then we'll at least have a bargaining or bargaining tools, right, that we can fight for. So if it's really this fight is really based on Ruiz. You know, if Ruiz beats Joshua, this could happen. This could really happen. And it's easy to happen. And it won't be any bullshit shits and giggles. The only thing is, I think Ruiz at that point, if he beats Anthony Joshua the second time, that would be his big payday. And I bet you that payday was bigger than Deontay Wilder's payday for fighting for unification. But of course they'll put it on pay-per-view and then he'll have his Mexican fan base, which would be great. And then Deontay Wilder, he has his, his own uh, flock of fans. So it would be a great fight. But I think they need that. And I'm going to tell you another thing, guys. His retirement. He's hinting, hey, I won't be in the sport long. You know what I think that is? That is nothing but propaganda. It's a prom- another promotional tool, right? If a guy always talks about retirement, you're thinking, oh shit, how long will he be around? Deontay Wilder ain't going nowhere for a while unless he gets beaten. And, and the way he gets beat, I think he'll just go to acting after that, like, uh, like uh, Victor Ortiz and um, um, Ronda Rousey, you know, those type of cats. And uh, Rampage Jackson, They'll, he'll probably go that way and he'll be in bit parts. And I'll probably run into him on set one fucking day. Who knows, right? Um, but I know this is a tool. Him saying, hey, I'm going to retire. I'm not going to be around soon. You know, I think it's just a way to get people to pay more attention to him because he wants that fame that other fighters have. That fame, that same fame like Joshua, like Fury. He wants his own stardom, people. He wants to be recognized. He wants to be appreciated. He wants that fucking fame. That's what he wants. You know, hey, how do I do that? Hey, I ain't going to be along forever. I'm thinking about retiring, so I better do what I'm going to do first. Right? So, uh, but, yeah, I think Deontay Wilder, 
I think he should have been after one face, one champion, one name. I don't think he was. I think now that he's allowed the green light to go after unifications. You know what I mean? And it is funny. And like I told you guys, I told you guys in my recent videos, you know, if he wins, if, if Ruiz wins, I guarantee you there will be a Ruiz Deontay Wilder fight. And that should that there should tell you and, and, and really much weed out any idea that Joshua was ducking Deontay Wilder. Wilder's handlers did not want that type of fight to be made, just like Al Heyman didn't want, doesn't want Al, uh, Earl Spence to fight Terrence Crawford. They don't want to lose to an outside promotional company, okay? Because they hold no power over there, they hold no weight, or any, most importantly, they hold no control, okay? That's why they stayed away from damn Anthony Joshua. That's why it didn't matter how much money, they weren't going to risk their fighter in their position with what they had and what they've worked all this time with a person that's unorthodox, that's really not as skilled, right? That has his own flaws. They have, they, they have managed to build this guy up to, uh, um, to, to push his name out there and they've done a good fucking job. But the only problem is you can only promote a guy so much, but he has to do something. That's why they're promoting now. You got to get the belts. You got to get the belts. Okay, fuck Fury. Fury's going to be there, but you have to get these belts first. You know what I'm saying? Because Fury, he's his own entity. Okay? Deontay Wilder needs a reason for people to watch him. You know, yeah, that knockout from Dominic Brazil was great, but if you take away Dominic Brazil, what has he done in the last two years that he hasn't done? What has he done this year that he hasn't done last year? Nothing. He's done the same two fights with the same two fighters. You did a redo. Okay, you fought, Fury, you fought Luis Ortiz, you fought Fury. You fought a mandatory, now you're fighting Luis Ortiz, then you're fighting Fury. You got to do more than that. You got to do more than just, oh, um, hey, yeah, I beat the baddest man on the planet, Luis Ortiz. A year later, hey, man, I'm, I'm going to beat the baddest man on the planet, Ortiz. Okay, you already done that. Show us something else, Right? Dominique Brazil was some crooked ass way you're mandatory. So show us something else. And that's what they're doing. OK. And that's my take on it. I think Deontay Wilder wants that fame. And I think his, his, his team is working on this strategy to get him that fame by setting him up, by planting the seed for Ruiz's um, success in beating Joshua to get that fight going and they're going to postpone the Fury fight. That's how it works. But those are the handlers of Deontay Wilder. Of course, you guys tell me what you think about this video, um, his retirement possibly. Please subscribe and you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.